can see I'm using a count tool but instead of numbers software offer me cubic meter. How to get the cubic meter instead of number? For that purpose we need to create a formula in the template. So let's learn how to create the template for volume. By default, if you use the count tool, software will offer you only the number. I'll show you the example. 1, 2, 3, 4. There is only the number. If you are looking to get the result in a cubic meter, cubic feet, or inches, or any unit, it doesn't matter. In short, the volume. So if you need to know how I have done that, so let me show you the idea. Go to templates. Here, you can create your own tab by clicking here new fine as we know we need a formula related to count so we have to click here we we'll give a name let's assume volume you can choose a shape and color as you want press ok right click and property advance here you have to adjust some settings firstly so you can see here software show you always the takeoff which is counting numbers only but you need volume now we need to understand for the volume what exactly the things we need we need length width height so these are the th three things we need to get the volume so there are multiple ways to deal that let me show you one example so what I'll do I'll create a new tab I'll give a name height I'll create a new cell I'll give a name width and length fine i have created if i want i can move up and move down as well so now i want software to ask me every time so for that purpose i have to show these item if i show these item next time software will ask us width height and length now i need to just few more things so i will click here advance now i don't know what are the units because whenever we click here form software is not asking us units so for that purpose I will click here advance so to adjust the form I have to click here form layout here I can see width height and length and this will be the view under the name three items will appear if I want to see the units I have to check show unit for three of them you can see there are the units fine then press ok click here form next time software will ask you units here as well fine now click here on advance important thing still software is giving you the result as takeoff we want this takeoff to multiply by width multiply by height and length so i'll multiply now by the width i can simply drag and drop multiply by the height and multiply by the length i have created and the most important we have to change the unit so right now it's a number we have to click here instead of number we can change into square meter sorry cubic meter cubic feet as we want if you're working in a region where feet walk so you can choose accordingly cubic meter fine so we have adjust the formula and cubic meter one more tip if you want to see the result in more decimal so you can right click in property right now you see there is there are two point after the decimal two only zero zero if you want more so you have to adjust right now you can adjust here three or four press ok you will see next time it will give you more uh, points fine and if you want to define some standard unit you can define here if you know you always work in meter you can define one time so next time you don't have to choose you can define that okay and if you know width is also let me just show you the form firstly so next time it will always remain in meter and if you know you most of the time the width is same or the height is same you can also enter one time software will remember this value okay but let's keep it empty for now press ok the template is created fine now we'll click here on a home tab this is our new project template always appear on the right side okay if we click here there are different tab you created today test and you want volume when you click here you can give a name here okay it's c2 what is the width it's 0 
what is the height you can check in a section and what is the length you can define here okay it's 0 0.2 fine accordingly it's based on the schedule but once you enter the information you choose the color and whatever you want now when you click you will see it's a cubic meter let me just finish right click and stop you see it's a cubic meter so this is how we create the formula for volume plans of templates are very powerful when it comes to customization you can create any formula because main is your calculation your concept that you apply i have created many templates and i have shown in my youtube videos if you're interested to learn more have a look on my youtube channel i have made many videos about plan swift basic training advanced training templates plugin about specific trade plus i have started a new quantity surveying program where i've started from start to end by covering all aspects so if you are new to my youtube channel have a look you will find many amazing videos and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel and share your feedback in the comment have a nice day everyone